CC Link IE Field Network Connection Guide for Analog I.O. Control of Analog Input and Output in a Remote Location A control device can be directly wired to the analog input and output module if it is closely located. But it is troublesome to run multiple analog input and output cables to a control device in a remote location. By utilizing the network, analog input and output in a remote location can be reliably controlled with only one network cable. Now, let's see the operation explained in this video. This control system is configured with a master station that controls the network, a remote station number 1 for current output, and a remote station number 2 for current input. The current output from station number 1 is received by station number 2. When the master station sends an instruction to station number 1 to output an analog signal, the specified value is sent to the analog output module via the network. The analog output module sends the analog signal to the analog input module. The analog input module returns the input value to the master station. The system configuration, installation and wiring, setting and operation check are explained in this order. System Configuration This is the master station configuration. In this system, a CPU module with built-in network interface is used. The master station controls the network. This is a remote station, the analog output module. This module outputs analog signals in accordance with instructions from the master station. This is the other remote station, the analog input module. This module receives analog signals and transfers them to the master station. Installation and wiring As shown, only one Ethernet cable is used to connect each module. Insert the connector until it clicks into place. This completes the sections on system configuration and installation and wiring. Please watch the setting video next.